Hey guys, it's your boy Luis Torres, and I got one of these guys. <laughs> this is the Pod X3 Live, and uh, I've actually had it for a while, just trying to, you know, tinker around with it, try to figure out little things, and it's not terribly complicated, but, you know, there's a little learning curve, but don't think that it's a major learning curve. So this thing, I bought it on Craigslist off some guy who... Hasn't used it in years. The thing came with the instructional manual, the original box. It, I mean, this is probably, I forgot what the guy said. He, oh, he's owned it for about 11 years. It's an absolute mint condition. And originally, I was using it with headphones, right? So you can have this, play at night, not have to worry about the wife, the spouse, significant other, the kids, the neighbors, nothing. You'll actually go deaf uh, using headphones because it, 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 I mean, you can set it to four and you're just like, dude, this is way too loud. I need to dial it down a bit. Um, so it has an expression pedal that you can set up as a volume wah or a wah pedal and a bunch of different options along with uh, built-in cab simulators. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. So... Here's the one thing. When I first got this, I realized that there, at the time, I didn't think there was really a good way to set this up with your amp. Um, so that was kind of a little learning curve also where, you know, I, I, not that I wasn't using it, but I was just like, ah, it's just so much easier to plug my guitar to a pedal to my amp, done. Um, there's apparently a four way cable configuration so you can use it with your amp and I was just like way too much dude you know that no I'm not gonna do that um but then this morning I did just that and apparently there's a two cable way of setting this up so I'm gonna connect this the way that it is working right now so if you're considering getting one of these just know yes there is a super simple way to get this connected to your uh, to your amp, and that's how we're going to start. So there are lots going on back here, and everything is all labeled here. So the easiest way is um, from, and I actually have this plugged into my Mesa tri uh, triple rectifier. So this connects to your, there's an option called effect send, which is right there, effect send. That runs to the front of your amp, the front of the input, okay? Now, from the back of your amp, and you have to have an amp that has a, uh, an effects loop, so I can't use it with my Marshall JCM because there is no effects loop in it. I could use my Randall Satan or my triple rectifier. So, from the effects send, on the back of the triple rectifier that runs out and goes into there's an option for live out you can pick right or left either way it's mono that's it two cables right so one goes to the front of your amp one comes from the send from the back of your effects loop into your live out then you plug your guitar where it reads, guitar in, done. That's it. That's it. So I feel like everyone that has a video makes it much more complicated than it actually is. So I wanted to start out with how to set it up because uh, I feel like that was kind of the biggest issue that I had for a while is how do I set this thing up on my, uh, to my amp? Um, you know, for 150 bucks, listen, and go to Guitar Center all day long, dude, 150 bucks, 150, 150. Do not pay more than that. Don't go to Reverb because there's some guys that are, sell that are selling it for 250, 280, even on eBay. So then you just plug it in, plug in the power, turn it on, done. Today I'm using my Kiesel Aries 
with what black no I have what pickups are these bare knuckle something or other whatever I have a video with it so <laughs> go look at the video <laughs> So that's the Pod X3 Live right there. Listen, for 150 bucks, if you want to just dabble with, um, and, and here's the funny thing. So, you know, I have my video. Okay, let, let's take it even a step, uh, a step further back. So, when I was a kid, you know, all of my friends whose family had money, you know, all these guys ended up having things like this. But back then... You know, you wanted some some floor multi effects processor, dude. It was like six hundred bucks. And keep in mind that I'm talking about I'm 15, broke as fuck. You know, poor Puerto Rican Dominican kid from Brooklyn. Yo, we didn't have that disposable income. I'm sorry, dude. I grew up broke as broke. Um, but of course, I had friends whose families were, you know, parents were doctors, uh, parents were attorneys, and you know, or owned businesses, dude. And they were just like, hey, mom and dad, can you guys buy me a, a half stack? And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Did your parents just buy you a full stack, a half stack, a, you know, $1,200 US made Jackson guitar? And I'm just like, Meh. what the fuck? So now fast forward a bit and I decided I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to get a, a rack. I'm going to invest in a rack system. Um, and when you're from Brooklyn and you grew up going to Lemoore's and, you know, you see stupid bands like White Lion who are from basically Staten Island. Um, and these guys roll in. You're just like, all right, I'm going to go see, you know, one of my buddies play and open up for White Lion. And, 
you know, here's White Lion, here's Vito Brada rolling in a, a, a rack system that's four feet tall. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? That's, that's a game changer right there. At some point, I have to get a rack system. But when you're broke, dude, you might as well, you know, be praying for, uh, you know, to win the $100,000, $100,000, $100, dollar $100 lottery, which back then it wasn't even $100 million. It was like $8 million. Um, so with that... You know, fast forward years later, I end up working on Wall Street. I become, you know, a wedding photographer. My business does really well. I've been doing it for years. And I'm like, all right, guess what? It's time for the, for the, for the racks. So I end up getting a Digitech GSP-21 because I wanted one when I was younger. You know, 1990, 91, when I was 17, I was just like, one day I'm going to get that. I mean, who, who knew it was going to be like 23 years later, but whatever. Better late than never, right? So, so I end up getting the Digitech and fall in love with it. Absolutely. You know, it's an incredible multi-effects processor. I bought one. I have two of them. I bought one for, what? Dude, like 35 bucks. Then, uh, then I bought a second one because the second one came with a floorboard, a floor pet, a pedal board. Um, and I think that one was like 80 bucks, 90 bucks. So it actually came with the two. So I, I have now, now because of it, I have to have two racks. I have a small one and a larger one. I know I'm, this is long winded, dude, but I had to like go back this far just to kind of lay the, the grounds for everything. So end up getting that. And yo, some guy on Craigslist was just like, Hey, I'm selling this pod X three live. So I go online and I realized that it's kind of the Digitech, which I love already, and I love the Digitech that I have with the pedal board, but there's a lot missing. I mean, there's a huge difference between something that was made in 1991 and something that was made in 2009, you know? So that being said, I mean, there's almost like a 20-year difference technology-wise, uh, and this also has the expression pedal. So I'm like, dude, for 150 bucks. Yo, where do you live? Let's meet up at Parkway Music in Clifton Park. It kind of seemed like it was the middle. You know, he was in Mechanicville. Uh, I'm in Clifton Park, so that was like the perfect uh, uh, center between the two of us. So met up with him, bought it, immediately used it using headphones. So, and fell in love with it. You know, that's how I kind of started figuring out that there's a cab simulator and all these different effects. And it's the reason why I then took it a step further and ended up buying the, the Moore uh, Radar, which is the cab simulator, along with the Moore um, Dual Cali, which is the Mesa um, clone, the, those little tiny pedals. So I ended up getting those pedals because I wanted something that I can use on my amps that I felt was just amp pedal guitar, done. Um, because this thing seemed like it was a little more complicated than that. And, you know, listen, I'm 46. I'm going to be almost, you know, I'm almost 50. You know, technology-wise, I will design your website for you. I will edit the shit out of your wedding photos. Give me something like this pedal and too many, you know, cables coming in and out. You know, way too much, dude. Like, I'm sorry, dude, but I feel like I'm done learning new shit. Uh, so, so that's why it took a while for me to eventually connect this thing to my amp. But this morning I was just like, yo, no way, I need to connect this thing. Uh, but apparently everyone talks about some four cable system. I don't even know where the four cables connect through. You know, I'm thinking there's a live left and right. You can either stereo that, or if you have a cab and you split it, which this cab you can, um, but you know, or just send one signal into the one cab, which is what I realized, you know, the more I went over it. So someone in 2011, <laughs> imagine, you know, we're going almost 10 years ago. Someone posted like, dude, why are you guys going crazy with this four cable system when there's a two cable system? I'm like, is there really? Let's see. Um, so I read through that, pulled out this, you know, my X3 live and ran it. And, yo, this is absolutely, listen, if you want a lot of pedals but don't have the $2,000 of disposable income to be like, all right, listen, I'm going to buy the P2 
Paranormal. I'm going to buy the series. I'm going to buy the, you know, the, uh, the Ghoul Screamer, the G4. Like, yo, seriously, like in the last month and a half, I think I spent like 2000 just on pedals. And I still have to buy the KSR uh, series pedal, which is $400. i will get that, you know, today or tomorrow. Um, and if you don't have or, or have it but don't want to spend that kind of money... Yo, for 150 bucks, seriously, you have control over delay, over your EQ. There's a parametric EQ, so it's like getting uh, the MXR 10-band EQ built in. Um, delay, reverb, what? Uh, what else? Stomp, which is basically a boost. A gate, you can use the wah pedal. Like, dude, like, seriously, I have a, a Morley Bad Horsey. And I think I paid 150 bucks for it, maybe 10 years ago. Um, but you're saving all of that. Like, think of it. You know, I bought my MXR 10 band EQ for 150. I think it was like 139.99 plus tax, whatever, rounding up to 1 to 150. This thing is 150 and has everything that you need. So I felt like I needed to start this video showing you how to connect it, so you don't buy this thing. You know, with two giant handles. And wonder, yo, how do I even set this thing up? Like, I feel like this is a waste of money. Like, I, for a while, I felt like it was just a waste of money because I actually wasn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't utilizing it using my amp. I was just using headphones, and that's fine. At one point, I connected it to my uh, my Scarlet um, along, and I was running that to my Yamaha uh, HS5s, which are my two monitors. It was just too much to try to use this thing, but today game changer so 150 bucks get the pod x3 live uh, again one cable to the front second cable to the back using your effects loop um, in the send so you plug it right into the send and your guitar plugs into the pedal and you can't miss it because it says guitar here you plug it right in um, and it's, it's pretty dope so That's the gate on the pedal. That gate is as good as the Fort and Zool. Um, and better than the ISP Decimator 2. I know there's a there's another one, right? There's a Decimator. There's an ISP Decimator 2 that has more um, inputs on the right-hand side. I would imagine that that would work as well as, uh, as the Fort and Zool. Um, but this gate built in is sick. Yes, <laughs> get the Pod X3 Live, and I could say that 1,000%. Uh, if you had asked me like a week ago, I'd be like, yo, there's too much fucking cables you got to work with. You know, if you want to get it, that's cool. If not, don't worry about it. But if you do, you're going to just, you know, with these fucking headphones or you're running it through your monitors. Uh, as of today, this morning, legit, run it right through your amp. Again, just make sure you have an effects loop on your, um, on your amp, whether it's a combo or head. Uh, and you're going to love it. Love it. Absolutely. Like, I will, you know, I love my pedals. Yeah, I'm a pedal dude, just like you guys. All about the chug, all about the pedals. 
Um, but if you get this thing, it is, it's a toy, dude. It's a toy. Um, but it's a fun toy. So understand that. You will never get rid of your pedals. If you go play live somewhere, you're going to bring your rig and your pedals. But if you're going to be home, yo, legit, 2 o'clock in the morning, I feel like playing. I can't sleep. Take this thing, plug it into your headphones. You'll need a quarter-inch uh, jack to use your headphones. So just use your headphones. Just get the adapter. Um, this is what I have for it. Just a uh, one-eighth to one-quarter inch. Um, and then I have these giant Sennheiser headphones. So here's the one thing. Make sure that make sure that your eighth inch is straight because this adapter is almost too long and blocks it if you have one if you have headphones where this is an L right because then the L kind of it, it prohibits the jack to get into this all the way so you know just make sure you have a straight one, straight, all right? Boom, and then you could just use your headphones. These were, I don't know, I think these were like 50 bucks, but they suck. These are the HD 201. Don't get these, get the HD, I think it's the 200. Um, they're just as big, but they're much more durable. I bought these because I took my HD 200s and I smashed them, long story anger issues. Um, <laughs> so, um, so I bought these thinking that this was an upgrade. You know, this is like Fisher price. Like it's so flimsy that, you know, I use them, but I kind of really don't want to. Um, but I have monster, um, headphones that I use, uh, predominantly. So are you going to love using this? Yes. Get good headphones if you want to use it at night. And again, there's a two cable, way to connect this thing to your amp. You're going to love it. And, uh, you know, as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. If you're new to the channel, uh, hit the subscribe button and that little bell because I'm always posting, you know, new videos. I literally, you know, earlier today, I watched the video of a, of a KSR series um, preamp pedal and hated it. So I reached out to KSR. I'm like, yo, can someone call me and let me know what YouTube video you feel sounds or best um best represents the ksr pedal because i was gonna buy it this week but after watching this video i kind of don't want it now but someone call me or email me let me know which one you feel best represents the pedal and then i'll listen to it and then consider getting it or not getting it whatever so uh, but for now, that pedal's 400. If you have 400, do not get that pedal. Get this one, all right? Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. And as usual, I will talk to you guys soon.